relations and functions. In previous videos, we have discussed what is relations and the domain, codomain, objects, and images of a relations. In these videos, we are going to continue with the types of relations. Types of relations. There are four types of relations. The first one is called the one-to-one -one relation. For one-to-one -one relations, you can see that every object is only mapped to one image and every image has only one object. So this kind of relationship is called one-to-one -one, uh, relationship, one object to one image. The second one is called a one-to-many relationship. And for one-to-many relationship, you can see that one object is mapped to more than one images. For example, one object is mapped to three images. So this is one-to-many relations. The third one is called many-to-one. And for many-to-one, you can see that uh, more than one object is mapped to one image. And the last one is called a uh, many-to-many. Um, for many-to-many -many relations, one object mapped to more than one images, and at the same time, more than one object mapped to one image. Okay, so these are the four types of relations that you need to know. Let's see this example. State the type of relation for each of the following. Let's see the first one. So what types of relation is this? What do you think? So we can see that we have three objects mapped to one image. And at the same time, we have one object mapped to two images. So this is many to many relations. Okay, let's see the second one. So what types of relation is this? We have two objects mapped to one image. So this is many to one relations. How about this one? What do you all think? Obviously, this is one to one, right? Okay, this is one to one's uh, relation because uh, one object, one image, one object, one image. Okay, um, the last one. So for the last one, we can see that we have one object mapped to two images. So this is one to many. Let's see another example. Again, you are asked to state the type of relation for each of the following. Okay, this is a Cartesian graph. And from the graph, we can see that um, we have one object mapped to two images, one object to two images, and the other is just one object to one image. And therefore, this is one to many, one object, many images. What about this one? Um, this one, we can see that we have two objects, A mapped to C and B also mapped to C. Yeah? two objects mapped to one image and therefore uh, this is many to one and this one this one is quite obvious one object one image one object one image one object one image one object one image and this is one to one eh? and the last one uh, we can see that we have one object two images eh? a and e two images and at the same time we have um, two objects A and C both map to E, two objects to one image. And therefore, this is many to many, yeah? many to many. Another example, again, state the type of relation for each of the following. Now, this times we are given order pair, okay? Now let's rewrite this uh, order pair here so that we can see it uh, easily and clearly. Okay, this is uh, the order pair for A. Yeah? Now from here, we can see that the objects are not repeated, but then we have uh, three same images, uh, which means three objects map to one image. Three objects to one image. Another one, two objects to one image. Uh, three objects to one image, two objects to one image, and therefore this is uh, obviously uh, many to one many to one relation and this one let's uh, rewrite it here we can see that one object to three images and two objects to two images and at the same times we have two objects two and three mapped to the same image okay so we have many to many yeah many to many one object three images 
and two objects to one image. And therefore, this is many-to-many -many, uh, relation. So many-to-many. -many. Another example, the diagram to the right shows the relation between set P and set Q state the domain and codomain of the relations. Okay, all the elements in the first set is the domain. Eh? So therefore, the domain is A, B, C, and all the elements in uh, the second set is the codomain, and therefore the codomain is E, F, G, H. Eh? So for A, the domain is A, B, C, and the codomain is E, F, G, and H. B, uh, the range of the relations. Now, range only consists of images that is mapped by an object. So, for example, uh, in this case, only E and G are images. F and H are not images because they have no object and they are not mapped by any object. And therefore, uh, the images are E and G. And range only consists of images. And those elements in the second set, which is not images, is not included in the range. And therefore, uh, the range is just E and G. Codomain is E, F, G, H, but range just E and G. C, the type of relations. So what do you think? We have two objects mapped to one image. And therefore, this is many to one relation.